Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. Let's just leave off right where we left off. I think we're going inside of Florum here. Is it, uh, is it just me, or are there awfully few men around? Florum is called the Land of Radiant Flowers for a reason. All its residents are female. What? A whole nation of women, you say? And if a man comes here, what do they do to him? You needn't worry. Men cannot take up residence, but no law bars them from visiting. You're red as a beet, Tiz. Are you blushing? Oh no, I just... Hearing it's all ladies here, I just got a little nervous is all. <laughs> That's adorable! Uh, hey, I just didn't know, all right? Don't tease me. Enough. Look here, Tiz. My journal describes this place in crisp detail. True to the old teachings, Florm's women <laughs> live in chaste humility, in coexistence with the spirits of nature. Devout crystallists, they reject war and conflict, instead choosing lives of peaceful reflection. Hear that? A land of maidens, pure and modest, fit to shame the flowers of the field. Angels all. Give or take those two. Feast your eyes! Well, I finally had it dyed! Brightest color I've seen yet! Well, have you seen this? A spirit hairpin! My coin purse is empty, but come on! Worth it! Pure and... well... Maybe not so much modest, but surely they seek external beauty to match their... <gasps> Cold! What's wrong? Oh, that's cruel! She's soaking wet! Oh, you'll have to forgive me. I was dazed by your hideous hair, and my hand slipped. <laughs> what in the world? Hmm? That awful cow dropped something. It's a flyer. 47th Annual Sacred Flower Festival, it says. Ah, the yearly competition to decide the most beautiful flower in Florum. Lovely. A beauty contest. Now he'll never shut up. But that isn't right. The Sacred Flower Festival is a day of solemn observance of the crystallist faith. What's more, this place is different. Its streets were not so overrun with glamour and idle pleasure. I worry for Olivia as well. Let us go to speak with Florum's matriarch at once. Let's do it. Can I go in other buildings first, though? A changed city. Whoa, this place is incredible. Look how many shine. Look how shiny the floors are. I can ring a bell. What are you looking at? Oh, various things. I was deep in thought, you see. Then why did I just catch you looking at my reflection? It's different. All of this is completely different than the last time I was here. I recall it being a two-tiered city built upon the river surface, but before the lower tier was residential, while the upper was reserved for crystal institutions. What of the giant stage at the top? Did that serve a religious function? I've no idea, nor could I even guess what sort of place all that neon is advertising. Just what in the world could have happened here? Okay, let's take a look at their weapons. 
Hmm. Okay. Ooh. These are kind of good. Huh. Need one of those. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe I need another one of these, but first let's check this. Cross shield. None of those are any really better. Ooh. Raises evasion. Ooh, gonna need one of these for sure. Definitely need one of these. Uh, okay, we don't really need any of that. So we didn't really buy too much, right? Um, no. You know what? I really want to buy another rod of fires to increase Adia's magic. You know what? I'll just save a little bit of my money. I shouldn't just spend it all at once. That was a good bit of progress there. I should probably save the rest of it. Also, if there's new magic, I'm gonna want to buy some of this stuff, right? Indeed. It's a good thing I didn't waste all my money there because we need to get all of these. Okay, then here's what we're gonna do. Let me go back. I need to sell some things. Give me this stuff. Just drag me for sure. Okay, so I sell the middle axes. Okay, cool. Um, sell this. Thumb claws. Sell that. Mm, I'll sell that. Butter. Middle helm. Just some of those. Okay, what about? Hmm. These stuff are not good. Sell. Sell that. Okay, we'll keep everything else because I think that might be enough to buy all the magic that we're looking for here. So we want to buy Kira. Raise. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we need 1,200, six, we need 2,000. We need 2,000 gil, so... We just need to sell a couple more things here. Dude, this is, like, terrible of me to do, but I'm just gonna do it. And then, I just need to sell... Just, like, one thing. Let's just sell another one beast sliver. That way I can buy all of the magic in here, so... Again, that was probably a little bit of a waste, but... Hey, we got all the magic now. Hopefully we'll have enough money to even sleep. Maybe? 40 pig. It's about all I have, so... Okay, let's go ahead and give it a quick save a here. Yes, continue playing. Let's give our town a little update here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh... Stick a few people in there. Okay, and then... Stick a few people in there. And then I think... Oh, is this one? Oh, that one's almost done in, like, a little bit here. How much is this? We'll just... Stick a couple people in there. Okay. Cool. Let's go quickly check out the rest of the town, and then maybe we'll go to bed and some things will happen, but... Hairpin costs an arm and two legs, but isn't it amazing? Okay. 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 Let's go on. Hmm. Who might you be, child? I am Anya Oblige, Vestal of Wind. It has been many years, Lady Matriarch. Ah, oh, I see it now. My, but you've grown, dear. Florum is more beautiful for your visit. On the topic of Florum's beauty, Lady Matriarch, just what has happened here? Then you've seen it, have you? Be sister to the flowers, woods, and waters, pure of mind and body. Those were Florum's ways. Emphasis on were, I fear. Now the girls war over who can ornament herself the loudest. They spend their days staring into mirrors while nature's beauty is lost to them. Their neglect has turned Florum's lands to wastes. Her beauty is all but lost. How has this happened? At some point, there emerged the notion that prosperity was limited only to the most beautiful. A 
let you guide this land's laws, Lady Matriarch. Did you notice no change? Not until it was complete, I fear. It truly was an insidious thing. And now, I am left to curse my powerlessness to reverse this corrosive tide. I join you in despair, Lady Matriarch. My pure and... Going to cut you off there, Ringabel. Lady Matriarch, I wish to speak with the Vestal of Water. Is Olivia at the temple? Ah, oh, of course. The two of you were so inseparable as girls. You scarce passed a day apart. Seems almost yesterday that. Fond memories of fairer times. But I fear the Vestal of Water is in hiding. Even I cannot say where she makes her hermitage. No. Then, how does the Temple of Water fare? It suffers for the absence of its mistress and her acolytes. These months have seen it go ragged. Agnes, it may still hold some clue. Why don't we begin there? Yes, yes, of course. Let's do it. The Water Vestal and me. It sounds like you and the Vestal of Water were really close. Olivia was my one and only friend. She's very dear to me. We are the same age and were selected as Vestlings around the same time. Then we succeeded our predecessors and became full Vesters together as well. We were always together, walking the same path and step. I do not know that I could have endured the Vestal training without her. She was always the talented one, smarter than I, but kinder as well. She shone so bright. There was there was a time we traded letters nearly every day. Despite the distance separating us, she always felt close by. Once we became Vestals, our responsibilities kept us from writing as often, but I never imagined anything like this. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll find her. She's probably busy looking for you right now, too. Yes, of course, and thank you, Tiz. Okay. To the... Water temple, we go then. And give it. Uh, I'm still hurt, right? Uh, no, not really. Honestly, I could probably survive with that amount of MP. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save and kind of spent it all. So let's go and get some more. So we need to go down over here. To the water temple. Temple of water. Got some water right here. <sighs> I can't. A, a something life. Uh, not a person in sight. Still, it's a relief to see the temple unharmed. The temple of wind was torn apart. I was worried we'd find the same here. Indeed, at the very least, it seems the ac acolytes escaped harm. Or so I hope. The smell of the air here is so nostalgic. I hear all four temples share a similar design. Perhaps they all feel this way. The construction is plain, just stone and simple windows, no ornaments to speak of. But when the sun filters in, the prayer hall was suffused with a calm warmth. I used to love just watching the light pour through the windows. Can you imagine how peaceful that would be? I'm certain it seems a dreadfully dull and monotonous life to outsiders, but to me, life in the temple was rich and perfectly tranquil. Tranquil is great in moderation, but didn't you ever get the urge to know what was going on in the outside world? It's, it is not if we completely forsook the world around us. The world within the temple was simply enough for us, that's all. Okay. Is there enemies in here is the question. Remedy. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks like this place wasn't torn apart, which is nice, and there doesn't seem to be enemies. This place is in a grim state, but it feels different from the Temple of Wind somehow. There are no traces of damage from Monster or Miasma. This is erosion. Time left these scars. Hmm. 
Hmm. High potion. Love me some high potions. Phoenix down. I haven't used many of those lately, so. Nothing. There's no sign of anyone here. The same as the Temple of Wind. No. It looks the same, but it's anything but. What do you mean? It isn't that no one is here. There is no sign of anyone ever having been here. Not in years. Hmm. So they left long before all this happened? That wouldn't be very good of the Vestal to just be like, Alright guys, later. <sighs> that is not a good idea. Have a look. These are Vestal garbs, aren't they? They should be Olivia's. The design is a bit different from yours, Agnes. Not bad, I must say. Must you? Really? Okay, let's make sure we get all of these halls and then we'll go. Ether? Okay. Alright, let's give it a quick saber and then we'll run in there, huh? Save. Okay, let's continue. Indeed, it is the same. It has been taken the over. The shield already surrounds the crystal. The same as that I placed upon the crystal of wind. Then, does that mean Olivia already awakened this one? But it's so dim. It looks more like the shield was put up to stop the dark from swallowing the crystal entirely. The water vessel is the only one who could have created it. And now, only she can remove it! She must have sensed what was happening sooner than I. She managed this just before the crystal was lost. And then she hid. I can't say what her reasons were, but she handled the situation brilliantly. I'm impressed. There's no risk of the crystal being swallowed up like this, or of any humans meddling with it. The fact that her shield stands is proof Olivia lives. Isn't it, Ari? Uh-huh. Wherever she is, she's doing fine. That's an enormous relief. So that means... We need to find her if we want to awaken the water crystal. Right? That's the best way, certainly. But not the only one. These shields can only be invoked by the Vestals of Fire, Water, wind, and earth, and is missed by the same. But that's not to say that the water vessel's shield can only be dismissed by the water vessel. You should be able to get past your shield on, yes? And awaken the water crystal, too! Is that true? Yes, there are two such cases written of in the Crystalist scriptures. I think you should do it, here and now, while we have the chance. The whole world could fall into shadow if we don't hurry! We can search for Olivia as soon as we're done. I cannot. If the water crystal is to be awakened, it ought to be at Olivia's hands. The rite of awakening has been performed only a handful of times in the history of the crystal orthodoxy. It's only right that Olivia be the one to release the prayers of the lineage of water vestals. Well, yes, but we don't know where she is. Where do we even start looking? Let us return and speak with the matriarch again. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's go talk to the old lady. I don't know what that'll tell us, but... Let no believer escape! Show any who struggle no mercy! They found us! It's over! All over! Keep hope alive! We have to make it to safety! Now run! What was our crime? Is a quiet life of piety such a grave offense? We've done no wrong. No wrong at all. Well, it seems like the people were being hunted, which is not chill at all. Okay, gotta go speak to the matriarch again, right? See what she has to say. Not just empty, but utterly abandoned, you say? Still, it pains me to say I haven't a clue where the Vestal of Water may be. Indeed, I'd hope that might be something you could tell me on your return from the temple. I am sorry. Then we're at an impasse. What drove her into hiding to begin with? Were the Eternian forces after her? If they wanted Agnes, it stands to reason. Hmm. Who was sent here to Florum? The Blood Rose Legion! Do we go pick a fight? I am a wanted criminal and you a traitor. We could be marching to our own executions. If I may, this seems like a job for my journal, hmm? Let's see what hits it can offer. Hmm? I'm not certain this is terribly relevant, but I found a curious passage. What does it say? Anything could help. Promise you won't get mad. Uh, very well. The Wind Festival entered the Sacred Flower Festival. And it ends there. What? Wait, what? Give it up, ring a bell. There's no way she's entering some tawdry pageant. Let me see that. Huh. <sighs> well, I'll be. It really does say that. <sighs> Anyas? Hello? There's no call to panic here. Just because it says something in ring -a bells book doesn't mean you're forced to play along if you don't... No, I'll do it. What? Are you serious? Really? Though the celebration has changed, the festival remains Florum's most important ritual, does it not? Just so. It was a time of prayer for the year to come, for a bountiful harvest and freedom from illness or harm. One girl was chosen for her purity of heart to serve as flower maiden till the next year's festival. She would join the spirits in nurturing Florham's flowers. It was an honor and a great responsibility. But recent years have seen it become a hollow shell. They compete by skin-deep beauty alone. Yet it still remains an important event, attended by all in Florum. If I enter, Olivia will know I've come to seek her out. Aha! Then we won't have to look for her because she'll find us! It's dangerous. That's a lot of attention you'll be calling to yourself. I understand the risks, but if it means I am able to see Olivia, I will enter. Then, I'll help however I can. 
I'm not certain a man would get far in the competition, Tiddles. I... Uh, didn't say I would enter! This is all so roundabout! Are we really doing this? I still say Awakening the Crystal should come first. Are you listening? Hey! Ares, given the tasks that lie ahead, I think enlisting the aid of the other vessels must come first. I guess, but still... So, do you have any idea of how the new Sacred Flower Festival even works, Agnes? I do not. Given all the changes here, the mind boggles. Well, we did pick up that flyer. Let's have a look. Oh! -ho. Entrants will flaunt their beauty on the stage for all to see, it says. Beauty contest. Plain and simple, then. From the sound of it, competition will be fierce. I've no need to win. I need only alert Olivia to my presence. But, and I say this with love, you're rather plain, dear. You could get lost in the sea of color. Uh, am I? Then what do you propose? Luckily, the potential here is top-notch. Wouldn't you say, Tiz? Huh? Uh, why are you asking me? Uh. You're a gemstone in the rough, I guess. That's my professional opinion. Then tell me, what must I do? Hmm... I suppose step one is studying up on the trends here in Florence. You need one of those hairpin thingamabobs. Fashion... something about fashion. Hmm, what's fashion? Uh, fashion what? Fashionable. You know, fashionable? That's how the hip kids say it back home. Oh, look at this. Ta da! A uh, heirloom floral linen stole. That's lovely and so fashionable. Not fashionable. I'm not gonna say that. Idiot, where did you find it? I'm envious. Aren't you? It was a gift from my mother years and years ago. If you wrap it around you like this, it makes for a perfect accent. You're always fashionable, though, Adia. Haha. -ha. Although you're nearly as fashion-minded as she is, Ringabelle, you are always fussing over your hair and your shoes and... What can I say? I live my life in front of a mirror. A proper pampador is... Uh, is a joy and responsibility. Shoes and belt must match. But that's the only beginning. You don't know the half of it. Clothing I really like, I never wear. Don't want to get it dirty, do I? What use are clothes you can't wear? See, Tiz, you're the only country bumpkin in the group. Give this stole a try. Stoles on guys are in this season. But the season is warm. What's the point of wearing a scarf when it's not cold out? Scarf? It's not a... Just try it out. Okay, continue. This has to look ridiculous. Oh, well, I think of it as a sweet sweat towel. Tiz, you look very... You'd look right at home weeding a garden. Anyway. Um, let's quickly check on the town, super, super quickly. Ooh, new special moves available. Okay, a lot of things just got done. Okay, okay. Alright, well, let's see. What things need some people? Let's put that in there. Let's put a couple people in here. That's 48 hours. Well, I'll put a couple more people on there, because that's going to take a while. Let's put it in this one. Uh, we only have a couple people left, so let's just put... I think that's... Uh, we got these two, but you know what? That's okay. We're not going to put people in the rest of those. Okay, we got to speak to this person. The latest thing in Flora? This spirit hairpin I'm wearing? Obviously, it's the must-have item. What one? Well, too bad. The traders don't stop them. Who does? <laughs> Not selling. That's kind of mean. 
Oh, another Norende update. They said, uh, oh, presents, yay, and gifts. Okay, which be, uh, item, combat, and compound. I see. When we'll get these, when we get these presents, regular intervals, merchandise, when, uh, careful section is key. Okay. So, whenever, what, where'd everyone go? So, whenever we build stuff, they give us presents. Easy enough. Those ones I'm not gonna sit through and talk, cause. Okay, so we need to go here to figure out where we can buy one of those hairpins. Here for a spirit hairpin? I'm sorry, but I fear we don't carry them here. There's a specialty merchant who comes into town every so often. Seems they're the only source. Though, if you're hunting trends, all the girls are dyeing their hair these days. Why that girl there? Though, I'm afraid we don't carry dyes either. Really, where do they get all this stuff? Okay, well, we gotta figure that out. Florum's finest food. Anyas, where is Flora's finest delicacy food-wise? Let me guess, I would dearly love to escort you, right? Without question, but I'm also just plain hungry, aren't you? No. Well, now that you mention it... So, Anyas, any recommendations? Hmm, let me think. Florum is known for stream noodles? Oh, and water jellies for dessert. These sound lovely, but have you anything that sticks to the ribs a bit more? A bowl of eel wafers, perhaps? Or, I believe queen perch is in season. Eel wafers bowl? What in the world? It is a delicacy made by stacking thin slices of eel from Florum's marshlands. Quite famous. And what's a queen's perch? A river fish, prized for their aroma. They swim upstream at this time of year and are served salted or fried. I think some fried queen perch sounds good then. Perhaps I'll try this eel wafer then. Oh, me too. Eel wafers, fried perch, and water jellies. Uh, uh what, one of everything? just to die for? Uh, that wasn't a pun. <laughs> anyway, Petal Hue, they call it. It's the biggest thing ever. Of course, I discovered it first. Other trends? Like I'm gonna tell you. I'm all the beauty Flora needs, thank you very much. But some of the men here have traveled all over. They may know something new. Ooh, if they do, tell me! Nah, I'm good. If you're gonna keep your secrets, I'm keeping mine too. The latest trend? Who cares? Forget about the newest thing. Show me the sexiest! An enlightened opinion. What a woman needs is boldness. It's settled. We're going sexy. <gasps> that lady there's on the right track. Get her to teach you a thing or two. Okay, guys, we're going to end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as a personal channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.